Hello and welcome back to another Pilates with Jade. Today we have a 10 minute intermediate level Pilates Ab Blaster workout. The perfect workout to kick into the new year. You don't need any equipment for this one, so just grab yourself and a mat if you've got one and we'll get straight into it. Okay, so we are starting today lying on our backs with our knees bent and feet hip distance apart. We will be warming up with some ab curls. So take your hands behind the head, elbows wide. And as you exhale, curl up into an ab curl, scooping through the abs and lifting the upper body up off the mat. Good. Focus on keeping those elbows nice and wide. So really try not to pull on the head. Keep the head relaxed in the hands and let your abs do the work. So deep breath in as you lower. An exhale breath helps you scoop up as high as you can. Exhale to curl up, inhale to lower. Keep those elbows nice and wide. Just a couple more here. Good, let's finish one last one. And relaxing back down. We're going to take our legs up to tabletop now. So one at a time, bring them up, squeezing the inner thighs together. We continue in this position. So it's an exhale, curl up. And it's an inhale to lower. And with the legs up, we really want to focus on imprinting our spine. So keep that spine flat on the mat. Draw the belly button down and focus on not arching through the lower back. Exhale, breath to curl up and inhale, breath to lower. Elbows nice and wide. On your next one up, hold that ab curl and reach the arms past the hips. We're going to pulse the arms up and down. Keep squeezing the inner thighs together and make sure you're pulsing from the shoulders. So you've got a nice strong movement happening from the shoulders here. Keep those elbows nice and straight, chin tucked in and eyes looking forward. Keep breathing, deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth, and let's relax back down. Hug those knees into the chest, and then we're going to take them back up to tabletop, legs squeezing together. So next we have some double toe taps. So as we inhale, we take the toes down towards the mat, and as we exhale, we lift them back up. Only lower as far as you can without arching through the lower back. So if that means you don't actually touch the mat, that's okay. Just go as far as you can without arching. Inhale to lower and exhale breath to lift back up. Good. We're going to go for one more here and then extend this a little bit harder. Taking the legs up to the ceiling now, nice and straight. We're going to pop the hands just underneath our glutes for extra support on the lower back. As we inhale, we lower. As we exhale, we lift. So we keep the legs nice and straight, lowering as far as you can without arching. Same as before. If this is too much, you can always go back to what we were doing before with the knees bent. Inhale, lower the legs. Exhale, lift. Focus on that imprinted spine and not arching through the lower back. Good. Let's finish one last one. Deep breath. And then relax those legs back down. Take a moment to breathe. Next up, we have bicycle legs. So we're going to take the legs back to tabletop, but hip distance apart this time. Hands behind the head, elbows wide. We curl up into an ab curl and hold. As you exhale, extend one leg long. As you inhale, draw it back in. So focus on keeping the ab curl, scooping up as high as you can and lowering the leg as far as you can without arching. We're going to do one more to each side and then we've got double time for 10 seconds. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and relaxing back down. That is a burner, that one. Well done. Hug those knees to the chest. We're going to make our way up to sitting for the next exercise. So make your way up 
to the top edge of your mat. Sitting with the knees bent and feet hip distance apart. We're going to reach the arms forward. As we inhale, we scoop down one vertebrae at a time. And as we exhale, we reach forward to come back to sitting. So I'm only lowering about halfway down. It's like we've been punched in the stomach. We really want to create that C curve. Scoop down and then reach through the fingertips to come back forward again. Good. Use your breath to help you. Deep breath in to lower. Exhale, breath to reach forward. And let's finish one last one here. Exhale, breath to come forward. Nice work. Moving into some oblique twists. Genie arm. So one arm on top of the other out in front. We're going to scoop down into that halfway position and hold. As you exhale, rotate and extend the same arm as side and inhale back to the center. So it's an exhale, rotate, and it's an inhale, come back to the center. And we're aiming to hold that C curl, scooping through the abs as we go. Good. And coming back forward to finish. Nice work. We are nearly there, guys. Just a couple more exercises to go. We're going to come up into a plank position next with the feet hip distance apart and wrists right underneath the shoulders. As we inhale, we crouch back, bending through the knees and pushing the hips backwards. As we exhale, we pike the hips up towards the ceiling and then flow down into a plank. So it's an inhale back. It's an exhale pike and control forward into the plank. So you really wanna use your hands here, pushing out of the floor and bending through the knees as much as possible as you send those hips back. Good, just a couple more. Really think about lifting through the abs, especially as you come forward, controlling into that plank position. Good. We're going to move into the oblique version of this now. So rotating to one side so that you dip the hip down to one side and rotate the feet. Very similar movement. We inhale to push back and we exhale to push forward. And we want to keep that side twist the entire time. Good. Just a couple more on this side. And then we're going to rotate back to the center and over to the other side, dip that hip down, inhale, push back, and exhale, push forward. Try and keep that rotation even as you come forward into the plank. You should really feel it into that bottom side waist. Finish off one last one, and then come back to the center and gently pop the knees down. We're gonna take a prayer stretch, so feet together, knees out wide, extending the arms out in front with the forehead down on the mat. Just taking a few deep breaths here. We have one last exercise to go. So we're gonna come back into a plank position, wrists under shoulders, feet hip distance apart. As we exhale, we're gonna draw one knee in towards the opposite elbow. And as we inhale, send it back, alternating sides. So basically like a very slow motion version of a mountain climber. Exhale to draw across and inhale to step back. Good, finish off one last one, and then we're going to move into some pikes to planks. So as you inhale now, pike the hips up, look in between the legs. As you exhale, move forward into a plank. So inhale, pike, exhale, plank. Good, keep the knees nice and straight. Pushing through the hands, looking in between the legs, and then in between the hands during the plank. Good, on your next one down, holding that plank position now to finish. Last little bit of work, deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth, and then gently take those knees down. Well done, let's finish off with a prayer stretch, feet together, knees out wide, and reaching those hands out in front taking the forehead down to the mat, deep breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. 
and walking the hands over to the left side of the mat now, getting that increased stretch down the right side of the body. And walking over to the right side. And making your way back to the center slowly bring yourself back to sitting and that completes our workout for today i hope you enjoyed that i hope you felt the ab burn thank you so much for joining me if you did enjoy this video please like and subscribe and i will see you next time bye